So I've seen a lot of comments recently where people are asking how to read certain plays, certain coverages, everything like that. So I thought the best place to start for this was to teach you guys how to read four verts. It's the starting point for a lot of college offenses. It's the starting point for a lot of two minute drills in the NFL. And there's a specific way to read it that I didn't learn until I got to the NFL. And it helped me a lot because it set the basis for everything in reading coverages and how to see things differently from one to the next. These are the basic starting points for how we used to read it in the NFL and how they still do. If it's one high man, you look to see if you have press on your outside receiver. If you have press on your outside receiver and you like the matchup and the safety's not favoring that way, go ahead and take it. Take into consideration down a distance, second and short, third and short, where you know you're going to go for it on fourth. There's a good time to take that. First and 10, got to know the flow of the game. Maybe it's the time to take it. Maybe it isn't. That's your decision to make and you'll reap what you sow with the coach on the sideline. If you do not get that, if he does not win on the outside of the X receiver, then go to your tight end, to your running back, one, two, three across the board. Should be pretty easy. Then the next coverage is two high man. This one's kind of tough sledding. You want to be thinking your tight end because he's got the best matchup versus a linebacker, but the leverage is going to be kind of tough. The next thing you want to look for is your slot receiver. Typically versus two man, he's going to double up at the top and cross face, try to break that inside leverage off and cross in front of the safety. It's got to be a bang, bang throw. Got to really fit it in there, but it's risky. The next thing you're going to have though is your running back. Your running back's going to be matched up on a linebacker. You really want to take your first hitch, second hitch, let him develop, let him get his little choice route, whatever it may be, and then rip it to him because he's got good leverage versus a linebacker that probably isn't as athletic as him. The last part though for two man, especially on third downs, quarterbacks, you are the threat. In two man, they play inside leverage and trail techniques. So they're going to be running with their backs to you. All you have to do is drop back, let them get downfield, navigate the D line and you're out. Nobody's accounting for you. So it's always a big threat versus two man. It's a red alert for quarterbacks. Hey, no matter how athletic you are, no matter how unathletic you are, you got a chance to get the first down if it's two men. The next coverage though is one high zone. So thinking like three deep, sometimes they got 33B, which would be cover three blitz out of nickel. You want to look to your X receiver first, and this is where tags start coming into play. Cover three, they're going to be playing over the top. X receiver, stop route, out route. It should be a gimme based on leverage as long as there's not a flat defender buzzing out, but you'll go from your X to your Y to your F, your running back. Typically, your running back versus three deep zone will sit up over the ball on a through route. He should anyways, especially if you're giving him an option in real football. But the other thing that comes alive versus cover three, if you know your X is a bad matchup, if you just delete that pre-snap are your seams. So in trips, four verts, you're going to have the middle receiver on the right side. He's going to run a regular seam up the numbers. If you have your other guy's going to run more of a climb route, your Y, you want to go from your seam to your climb to your back. Make it real simple. Two high zone. And this is where the seam bender really comes into play. You don't force it, read it out, but you got to see what the middle linebacker does. Be aware of hole shots on the outside of the receivers. If the corner is trying to play too far underneath, pass them off and the safety's not wide enough. You see it to the boundary a lot. Sometimes the field if you're Josh Allen, but it gets a little risky, but I really like playing four verts off the Mike linebacker and ripping it in a seam when he's bending in front of the safety. Lastly, cover two, almost every single time you could drop back, take two or three hitches and blindly go to your running back. There's gonna be a soft void as the mic vacates out deep. Should be a nice, easy five to seven yards of Tom Brady special. Sometimes you'll see quarterbacks just take their extra hitches just to get coverages softened up so they can give more room for their back to work. But all right, now that we've given the basics of it, I'm gonna go dive into a game of Madden and we're gonna just run four verts. And I'm gonna show you all the different variations that you can run with it, how to tag people, how to see the coverage and exactly what we're looking for. So it's going to be a lot of four verts. Let's dive in. What I'm thinking here, it's going to be cover three. So what do we say? Give me my out route. We're going to take it. And if that linebacker gets underneath of it, then we're going to progress across the board. Might have read. Got him. Here we go. Soft spot in the zone. Now, what I like here is I think I'm going to get it to Dobbs. I'm going to move Aaron Jones out to hope that I can influence coverage to the left. And I'm going to high low the left linebacker, the mic, the one with the big ass M in front of him and see what we can do. Got him. Stay in bounds. Oh, stay in bounds. Come on. But you can see the games that we start to play, and they're clearly in cover three right here. Now they're going to be in some sort of two high. So what I want Romeo Dobbs to do is run more of a vertical seam. If that linebacker comes back down, that's fine. We're going to start getting into our tags and give Christian Watson a seam. Okay, never mind. Now we're going to get back to our reset the play. Get Romeo on this so we can influence him a little bit differently. This would be more like a through route, and we're going to try to get that linebacker to influence with a drag. Got him. There it is. You can start playing games with these hook defenders, and this actually would be how we would have ran it with the Packers. That would turn into a through route versus more of a climb versus that type of coverage, and you would just high-low that defender. Then we can get into some too high. Two by two, four verts, a little bit different. Now we're thinking seams here, unless we get a gimme out route, which it looks like we have one to the field, actually. It's a lot of room for that flat defender to get out there, so we're gonna go B to A to RB. Got him. 
All right, get back on the ball. See if he wants to switch his coverage up. He's still in cover three, so he doesn't want to change. That's fine. Other thing you can do when they're matching coverage out there, this defender over why he has been matching and the flat defender is coming from inside. He's the linebacker that's kind of on the ball, off the ball over David Bakhtiari. He's got to get all the way out of that smoke route and that's not going to happen quick. So they're matching coverage, they get hands on them. You can get a lot of freebies underneath. This is like that Seattle defense, the old Legion of Boom, where they were susceptible to decent gains was actually in the flat. Now we're gonna read it out. We're gonna see the safety versus cover three. Where does he favor, where does he not? And we're gonna work the seams here down to our running back. He stays to the right. We're gonna go left, get down Dobbs, let's go. That was a bullet, but didn't come out as a bullet. If you know the different spaces of where to attack, you can get after it all the time. So now here, look, I think they're gonna be in zero. So I'm going to bring in my tight end to block. If it'll let me, it won't. Put him to the flat right now. Keep our running back into block. We're gonna slide left with this and try to hit Romeo Dobbs across the middle because he's gonna bend versus cover zero. Nope, he's got the linebacker in there. That's fine. We're gonna have to make a play. Sometimes they win. Add a bunch, put Romeo Dobbs on a slant. It basically plays out the same way. And then give me Jones on an option route. So we're going to read this. What does the Mike linebacker do? To RB to A, probably Y, but we're going to peak B just in case he pops open, but he shouldn't versus this coverage. RB, got him. Oh, come on now. You can see like you can play so many different games with different variations of four verts, but you read it the same way. Once you start learning football from like conceptually where the spaces are in each zone and which plays attack each space in a specific timing of the route, then you can really be consistent in your reads and you th start throwing less interceptions. All right, like right here, I actually like both of these out routes to the sticks. They're actually gonna be going to the front pylon. So we're gonna see if we can get either of these guys to flip their hips as they go back. Then we're gonna check it down to our running back if neither wins. Check it down to running back. Got him. Love that. So as long as you have a plan pre-snap, you just start throwing less picks because you're not just dropping back, trying to find things randomly, looking at the whole field. I miss wide open receivers all the time because they're not a part of my read. I decide what I'm gonna read pre-snap then I stick with it. And typically that's the outcome. Now I'm gonna start teaching you how I like to get variations underneath. So I like zig routes, drag routes. I like unders with a crosser. I like outs with basics behind it. A basic is a 10 yard in. So let's see how this plays out right here. They're misaligned and I'm thinking I got read in the slot right now in that soft spot. So that's the other thing I start to do when they get in these two high shells where's the soft part in the zone pre-snap based on their alignment got him always possession catching the seam too because you'll get rocked now we're on the right hash i'll flip sides it's another big part try not to have trips to the boundary too much also right here i love this i'll start getting guys on zigs really quickly i love putting my number three receiver in a zig dobbs right here is matched up versus mike linebacker that's a mismatch i'm looking for that all game long if he would hit the throw madden you need to help jordan with his ratings bro Come on now. Let's get it again. He's misaligned. Got milk check. Milk, milk, check milk. Got him. I really truly believe that you can run four verts every single play and have different variations and absolutely cook with it. Like right here, look, I'm seeing this soft spot over here. Give me Aaron Jones on a flat and give me a little slant flat. If they go cover three, this is a cover three beater. If they go man, then I'm probably gonna have Aaron Jones right now because they're not aligned man to him, they're misaligned. There's no way he's getting out there that fast. We start getting into this where we can start seeing what coverage they're in, knowing how they're gonna adjust to it. I think he's gonna take this linebacker and run to Aaron Jones, and I'm gonna pump fake to Aaron Jones and then throw it to Romeo Dobbs. Got him. I mean, you can start setting up plays for the next play. It only takes a few tags. You don't even need hot route master because there's enough with the basic offense. If you know how to read the zones, you can attack anything they do. All right, now we got four verts from a slot split. Got a little tight ends right, slot split on the left. They're going too high here. So what I'm thinking pre-snap is look, I'm gonna have my running back, but I think it's gonna be some sort of quarters or some sort of cover six. It looks like cover six based on the show. So we're always gonna give an out route to the field if we get good leverage for it. Right here, we got it. The quarters beater. 11 for 15, 164 yards, three touchdowns, running all different variations of four verts. I'll take it. Now they adjusted. Now they got two to the boundary. Looks like they're going... Mm, they're misaligned. Yeah, look at him. That's a mismatch over there. What I like is to give him now his out route. We're going to see what this linebacker does on the right. Got him. Got him in the seam. He is so cooked right now. He has no idea. No idea. All right, now we're going to put tight ends left. You can see they're misaligned here. We're going to keep flexing these guys out. 
All right, now they're definitely going zone, and we have a thick ass linebacker on Reed. What are we gonna do? We're gonna take advantage of it with a zig. That's a common thing I do in this offense. Give me the fast guys versus the slow guys in space. That was a close one. Should not have been that close. All right, now we're gonna go flat route with a running back on a seam, knowing that he likes to play with this linebacker on the left. This is where we get into our variation. So we got a basic by the left tight end. We're gonna try to pump fake to the Y to get the linebacker to overreact and throw this the seam behind him to the running back. Got him. Pump fakes are so nasty in this game. Not used enough. Get into one of my other favorite concepts. We're gonna go flat out on the left. We got good leverage, craft, on a white linebacker, dear Lord help him. And we're gonna give ourselves something to progress to on the right side with a basic wheel by him. I like this. So this is another, instead of just running four verts, now you break it off. So we're gonna go B, A, to Y. Got him. Got him, baby, come on, let's go. Four verts king. You can see, man, four verts really is the only play you need. You can run it out of a bunch of different sets, start tagging people, start taking advantage of the coverages that they're adjusting to for your four verts. If they're trying to take away the seams, man, break it off. Run your out routes, run your flats, run your zigs. It's all you need to be successful in Madden. I definitely thought this kid was gonna quit and I definitely thought I was gonna have to end this video, but he didn't quit. So now let's get into four verts out of empty because he's not ready for it. I know I'm ready for it. Let's cook. All right, too high. What do we like to do? We like to slash vertical on the seams take the gimmies if we got them right here adjusting to a straight vertical by reed we should be able to catch throw right now back shoulder in the seam you basically just see where that safety's playing what type of you know downhill path is he taking he went inside i felt like i had enough room for the back shoulder backside so i took it now what do we got we got another mismatch on the left side tight end versus linebacker gonna give me the zig but i'm also gonna peep what does rb do because we might have action in the seam here keep the seam we don't got it we got y that's fine Keep taking advantage of it. Kraft's cooking in Madden, and he's cooking in real life. All right, now I like this. We're going to give Reed a little pump fake and then maybe hit Wicks in the seam. If Reed out leverages right now, I'm going to take him. Got him. Back shoulder in the seam. He dropped it. No, that's such a nasty play. All right, four verts. Let's flip it to the other side. I like Wicks on this seam right here. Oh, they're adjusting. I like Reed on this seam right here. We're going to read off this safety, but we're going to have Kraft coming underneath of it like this. So we're going to try to hit RB or A right as he passes their linebacker. Read off the safety if he goes left or right. And then if not, we're going to hit it to Y, but we're going to also give Christian Watson a comeback. So RB or A to Y to B. Got him. Uh, team got to keep that safety in the middle of the field big dog it's the only play you need you're seeing though like i'm just peppering him with completions all over the field deep short seams outs like everything flats and now he's starting to have to guess and this is where madden gets fun because now you're playing that game of chess where he doesn't know what's coming next because i'm willing to throw three yard check downs i'm also willing to bomb him and he can't stop any of it his best bet right now would be to blitz me go cover zero and blitz me but then i'm gonna zig him up and throw slants and probably throw flats too and pepper him for four yards of pop